What's up guys, I Device Help here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanna to share with you guys a few tips and tricks, settings and options you may want to look into after you get your brand new iPhone 12 or iPhone 12 Pro. These are gonna be a few settings you may want to consider checking before you continue using your iPhone. So the first thing I always say is make sure you head on over to general software updates and make sure that your iPhone is up to date with the latest iOS software update. Of course, this brings a ton of improvements, stability and new features to your iPhone 12. So make sure you check for updates on your iPhone. The first thing you may want to consider doing. Also with that, make sure you go to the about section and some users may see a carrier update available popped up when you go into the about section of your iPhone. So if you see that carrier update, make sure you hit that okay so you can get that carrier update of course that's going to help with the reception of your iphone call quality and performance of the network so those two things you may want to do after you set up your iphone for the first time now the next thing you may want to do is remove unnecessary applications now the iphone comes preloaded with these apple apps like imovie garage band and these apps do take a lot of space from your iPhone. Now, GarageBand is about a gig. iMovie is about a gig. I already deleted that one. And all these other apps like Pages, Numbers, and Keynotes do take storage from your iPhone. So if you want to preserve the storage and just remove apps that you don't necessarily use, definitely something to consider doing right after you set up your iPhone for the first time. Now, another thing I always recommend is if you set up your Face ID device, after you set it up, you can go to Face ID and Passcode, enter your passcode, and once you enter your passcode, you'll see a setup and alternate appearance. Now this allows you to set up a secondary person to be able to unlock this device, or this also helps if you scan your face twice to make face ID a lot faster and react a lot quicker because it has more dots and more pictures of your face. Because once you set it up for the first time, you have this option here to scan your face a second time. So I always set up the alternate appearance. I scan my face for the second time and this helps Face ID be a lot quicker and a lot faster. And that's something you may want to consider doing right after you set up your brand new iPhone. Now with the brand new iPhone, we also have the new uh, video HDR right here. So if we go to the camera option, this is a brand new feature under video recording. You have HDR video capture and this is recording up to 60 frames video 10 bit HDR high dynamic range, including Dolby Vision. It's kind of crazy to see this on an iPhone, but it is available. This is something that's going to take more storage from your iPhone, but definitely is going to give you the best audio quality and video quality of any iPhone till date. So definitely HDR video, an option that you want to go ahead and make sure that it is enabled on your iPhone by heading over to the camera settings. And last but not least, of course, the iPhone is now 5G. With that being said, you can head on over to the cell options here. And if you head on over to the data options right here, you see that you have the ability to set this 5G to standard low data mode or allow more data on 5G. But the one that you wanna take a look at is the voice and data. This option here, allows you to either turn on 5G at all times. Now keep in mind, 5G at all times means your battery may drain a little bit quicker on your iPhone. I yet to test that, but that could be the case. Now, if you set it to automatic, the iPhone will automatically switch back and forth, but you also have the option to go to LTE. If you don't have 5G in your area, you can go back to LTE, and then maybe if you're in a 5G area, you can turn it on uh, you know, manually, and you don't have that automatic switching constantly, which is constantly searching for 5G if you're on LTE. So just an option you may want to look into if you don't have 5G or if you do have 5G in your area. So those are just some of the tips that I wanted to share with you guys, some options that you may want to look at when you first set up your iPhone 12. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.